everyone, let's welcome to Slams and Bobs. Here we are again, ready for the last pay per view of the year, which is t tables, ladders, and chairs and stairs. They kind of went on a bit of a downer, I guess, maybe since the thrill of Survivor Series. It just kind of was like, woo! The Slammies were actually quite accurate. I was prepared for all our anarchy if AJ didn't win Diva of the Year. But for the love of God, it's got to the next pay-per-view, and again, there's backstage told that AJ Lee is leaving, that that speech that she made was her farewell speech. No, it wasn't! Okay. Skydive with Santa, race with reindeer, and parachute presence in Santa's village. Thanks, Google. Anyone in the UK, allegedly, this is the last pay-per-view shown on a Sky Sports channel. It is on, I think, Sky Sports 3 on Sunday, so you can all watch it for free. If it's the last one, I think I'm going to do that just for the road. I don't, I don't know. We still have no network, right? Where's our network? <coughs> have you seen that? They're trying to make you donate to Wiki now all the time. There's actually quite a lot of matches. Okay, for starters, the New Day. It's Biggie and Kofi, not Xavier Woods. I guess he's still kind of considered training. Versus Gold and Stardust. Go at it. You know Gold and Stardust can do no wrong for me. I don't think this New Day thing is going to go all that well. New Day! New Day! It's, it all seems a bit stereotyped, if that's the right word. I'm not saying any more because I'm going to get in trouble. Something I'm looking forward to, Dean Ambrose versus Bray Wyatt in a TLC match. Woo, go for it! Go for it! I will sit there going, ah. yes. Full out violence. Violence. I am quite looking forward to this match. I think they're going to make an absolute show of it. Probably have match of the night. If last month was anything to go by in that last sort of five, ten minutes of their match, it's going to be awesome. It will be awesome. We will remember it if that, as long as they give them the time, and I think they will. Has anyone heard that apparently Bray is supposed to be Taker's opponent for next year's Mania and not Sting? Ah! We all want to see Sting versus Undertaker. Maybe one day. If Taker can actually walk by then, because I always worry for his health after every WrestleMania. He looks so frail compared to Sting. He looks better than him and he's older than him. Moving on to the next one. Ryback versus Kane in a chairs match. I don't, I have no expectations. I'm not the greatest fan of Ryback. Not since what CM Punk said. I'm just not a great Ryback fan. I don't know why. I just not, I'm not a Ryback fan. I'm sorry to people who like Ryback. Nixie don't like Ryback. Nixie loves Kane, but Nixie loves Mars Kane and like stupid corporate Kane. I don't have much hope for it. Let it do what it wants. I'm not expecting anything. It's a chairs match. It'll be a bit meh, I think. John Cena versus Seth Rollins in a tables match. If Cena loses, he will no longer be the number one contender for the WWE title. Okay, we have issues with Brock Lesnar here. We all know he's on a part-time contract, but I thought you were supposed to defend the title within 30 days, and he hasn't defended it within way more than 30 days. It's like 60, 90, 80, something like that. I won't mind if Cena loses. I'd like Seth Rollins to go over. I think they're probably gearing up for Sir, Sir, Sir Roman Reigns taking the reins, no pun intended, and going for the WrestleMania match like it's been said for a long, long time against Brock. There was a lot of anarchy over Roman Reigns getting Superstar of the Year. I didn't mind that. I'm so I think he did well. The only reason he's out is because he had a hernia, which shows just how bloody hard the man was working. All right, yes, we've heard the reports. They want him to be the next John Cena. They want him to be the next face. I think that's a good move. It's an okay. Would you rather Cena had won again, okay? Look at it that way. Someone different, someone new, someone fresh one. Would we mind if it was Seth? No. Would we mind if it was Dean? No. I probably would have preferred Dean Ambrose to a point. But let it lie, okay? So we now have the tag team title match. This is not a stipulation match at all. Damien Mizdow and The Miz versus The Usos. The Usos always seem to do crazy stuff and just have an amazing match. Everyone wants Damien Mizd out. My friend said it rightly the other day. When they eventually have Damien turn on the Miz, he's going to do magic. He is so over with the crowd. I look forward to that. I think the four of them will do very well. Eric Rowan versus Big Show and Steel Chairs match. Um, did you see the bruise? That lump on Eric Rowan's head two weeks ago on Raw after he took that hit. It was like, and then this, it was like a cartoon moment. You know where they hit with a hammer and you get come up. It was one of those. I just looked at it and I was like, Jesus. It was 
big, that probably hurt quite a lot. I bet he had a headache that night. I wonder if he had a concussion that night. Who knows? Who knows who was right there? The Big Show heel turn is totally stale. They've done it a million times through. We've seen it, we've seen it, we've seen it, and now we're seeing it again. They never change the record. It's broken. We're bored of it. I just still can't see Eric Rowan going very far. I wonder how comfortable that boiler suit is to work in. It looks awful. I would hate wearing it. His beard is amazing, the land mask. He seems to be doing okay. He's still a better talker than Luke Harper. I don't remember a steel chairs match. So it's a new fresh one. Let's give it a chance. Luke Harper versus Dolph Ziggler, ladder match for the IC title. Dolph's performance at Survivor Series is anything to go by, we're in for a treat. As again, we need the time given to it for it to be really, really good. Dolph Ziggler and Dean Ambrose matches are gonna be the rival for match of the night. Don't mind who wins, no. Preferably Dolph Ziggler, because again, I'm not that big on Luke Harper. For some reason, if someone comes in as a heel, nine times out of ten, I don't like them until they've turned face and then turned back heel. I don't know why that is. Hasn't worked that way with Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt I've just taken to like a little puppy. The shield I took to like a little puppy. I don't know why. It works, sometimes it doesn't. Who knows? Russo versus Jack Swagger, singles match for the US title. This is just going to be USA all the way. You have to put take your hat off to, especially Lana, who goes out and slags her own company off every night. Rusev, again, is just going to be another Vladimir Kozlov. I can't see him getting further than this. It is, this is just going to be the Team America match. It's going to be the one that everyone gets involved in stateside. Vladimir Putin! No, I don't even like David Cameron, so... Last match, allegedly, at this time, is Nikki Bella versus AJ Lee. Again, I'm going to say, stop the crap that AJ Lee is retiring, all right? Again, my friend had a good point over the weekend. Hello, Lance. You know, AJ does this job for the joy of it. Yeah, there was a lot of conversation after CM Punk's big podcast conversation with Colt Cabana that they were going to be punishing AJ. I'm going to be really honest here. That company need AJ more than AJ needs the company. She makes the money, she puts bums in seats, she's selling merchandise, she must be the number one women seller for merchandise. I mean, when they first brought her t-shirts out, they were on pre-order after they'd finished. You know, I was on one of the pre-orders. Obviously, she's doing well. She's the best they have in the company. She's got the crowd behind her no matter what. And I can't put her over enough. No one likes Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella is highly inappropriate, okay? You're in a PG company, but Nikki Bella is pouting and pushing her boobs up at every opportunity, right? Now, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's inappropriate. Every picture is a selfie down like that, staring at the big fake boobs. You're a PG company. You won't allow blood, but you'll allow that, I want to swear about her, to to put her boobs on camera and pout. What are you teaching teenage fan girls of the show, okay? What are you teaching them? Get realistic. Take that crap off my screen. Take that off my screen, okay? Think about what you're saying to children, that you need to have big boobs, fake hair, and pout and sleep your way to the top. That is what you are telling teenage girls and young girls who are fans of this show. You need to sort this out. Who do I want to win? You know who I want to win, AJ Lee. No one wants Nikki Bella to hold that title unless you're blind, quite frankly. If you think Nikki Bella and Brie Bella are good, go and watch the 90s wrestling. Go back, watch Mae Young, watch Moolah, watch Sensational Sherry, or even go and watch Kaylee Ray. Especially go and watch Kaylee Ray, actually, because she's freaking awesome. End of. Nikki Bella is crap. Brie Bella is equally as crap. The fact that they've changed Brie Bella back to a heel contradicts everything we went through of all those vile storylines. That is TLC. Obviously, it's Friday, so it's subject to maybe just a little bit of change. Let's all watch it together. Probably we'll be in the BWR chat room, which will be down there. That's all I've got to say. Enjoy the show. Load the show. Tell me what you think about the show. I literally have five hours between waking up for and coming home from work between the ship. We literally have about two hours this side, three hours this side. I have no life right now, okay? This is how hard it's been to make videos since December started, because I started doing 12 nines. So I apologize for lack of vids. In the new year, there should be more because I'll have considerably more time. Enjoy, see you on the post show. Bye everyone.